My name is Sayed, I'm from Bangalore. I moved to Bangalore from Chittadurga. At first I was really afraid, you know, this is a really big city. You have a lot of expectations and I was under a lot of pressure. I had lost hopes that I could not survive in this city. I didn't think that it was for me. I never thought I'll survive this city, but I did. So I'm in Bangalore now, now I have to go to Egypt. A bigger place than Bangalore, a new country and I'm a complete stranger. So when you move or travel to a new place or a country, as a matter of fact, normally you start, you start to find people like you. But what happens when you don't find such people, right? So you start exploring on your own. But as you start exploring, you will slowly realize that all the people who are around you are just like you. This is the time when you actually step out of your comfort zone. This is the time when you don't miss home. When I went to Egypt, I had like a very high expectations. I already knew the problems I was going to face here and it was no surprise or a shock that I actually faced them. Like language barrier maybe or culture shock. So I could not find a SIM card, I could not find any Wi-Fi nearby. So I could not communicate or talk with my parents for a while. That really scared me. Most of them don't speak English, so I was having a hard time communicating with the cab drivers where I wanted to go. For example, if I wanted to go to the airport, I would show them gestures like this, like take me to the place where planes fly. There was civil war happening between the people and the army. This is the same day where 8,000 people got killed and I was so close to my death and I wasn't even afraid. So luckily I found a cab driver who agreed to take me back home for a large amount of price. But yeah, I think that's the most craziest thing I've done so far because I was really, really close to my death. So because of this revolution in Egypt, all the shops were shut down, there was curfew going on and if you take, if you take a walk down the street, you could find a lot of bullets uh, fired by the army. They were throwing bombs, they were shooting people and they were throwing frag grenades everywhere. So suddenly your instincts play, plays a very good role. At that point of time, I, I my instincts are told me to run, run from the place and I ran. I ran like hell, I ran from that place, I luckily found a cab and I got out. It changed me, it changed me as a person. You know everyone has a turning point in their life when the graph goes to the other direction. Egypt was that point of my life where I changed completely and everything in my life changed. All this solo traveling made me the person who I am today. I'm more confident. I want to meet more people, I want to travel, and I'm more inspired now. So whatever you do in life has to have a purpose, right? Ultimately, it should make you happy and you should also learn at the same time. Traveling did that for me.